Juju thought he was slick, just trying to slide this one through the cracks like nobody wouldn't see his tweet. Anyway, YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. Whew. It's been a lot that's been going on in the past just 20 minutes alone. But Juju and the Chiefs, you know, like the Chiefs, one thing that I, I admire about the Chiefs is that they are always looking for quality weapons to upgrade and surround Patrick Mahomes with. They always do it. So you get, they, they did just lose uh, Pringle to the Bears, I believe. Um, but you replace him with Juju. Juju's a receiver. He can play in a slot. He can play outside. You can move him around and whatnot. Um, but to have him there with, and he can work the short underneath game and whatnot, um, and to have him pair with Tyreek Hill and with Travis Kels, it's like, man, these dudes, like, they they don't stop. And it feels like with Juju, he's just he's checking off the, the, the boxes for the teams that tried to get him last year. Because remember last year when he became a free agent, Steelers wanted him back. The Chiefs, they wanted him. And the Ravens, they wanted him. He had offers from all three teams. But he was like, mm, you know what? I'm going to, okay, Steelers it is. I'm going to try to run it back one more time with the Steelers. And unfortunately for him, he did get hurt. Uh, missed the majority of the season, came back for the playoff game, I believe. Um, but now he's he became a free agent and he got to sign with the Chiefs. Uh, so that will be good for him. It's a one year deal. It's worth, I think, about 10 mil. I, I forgot. Well, it's, it's a, I know it's a little over 10 mil. I forgot the uh, the terms. OK, there it goes. 10.75 mil. So not bad, just a little under 11 mil. Uh, so Juju gets a nice one year deal, a nice one year. Hey, show us what you got. Show us what you got. I forget the Chiefs status on Josh Gordon. But again, with the Chiefs, Chiefs are one team that will always and forever explore literally every single avenue how they can improve their offense. Always. They did just sign Justin Reed to replace Tyron Matthew, who hasn't been signed yet, which I'm surprised. But they always look for ways to improve their offense every single time they don't stop. Uh, so this is a, a nice addition. And you just know, like with the Chiefs, they're not going to be done yet. They're not going to be done. But again, this is another example of them staying all in. They, um, I remember a couple years ago, it didn't work out, but they tried because, again, they try everything. If a player, a hot name becomes available, Chiefs are going to try to get him. Like, I remember when Le'Veon Bell got cut from the Jets. Chiefs was like, okay, no problem. Come on, come through. When Josh Gordon, when he became available again, Chiefs was like, all right, no problem. Yeah, let's try it out. Come through. And it was said that they were interested in Odell Beckham Jr. when he got cut last year. Um, but they, they, they always trying something. I remember, uh, was it last year or two years ago, where they tried to get uh, Trent Williams when he was a, before he resigned, they tried to get Trent Williams. I'm like, man, what? How do they do all this stuff? But they are very, very good at manipulating the cap. Very, very good at it. So Juju to the Chiefs. It's gonna be interesting seeing him do a little dances and stuff and whatnot. It's gonna be fun because you know he's gonna be scoring some touchdowns there. You know he will because Chiefs they gonna find a way. They gonna find a way for sure uh, to get him involved and get him that ball uh, like they do with all of their offensive weapons. So good move by the Chiefs. Good decision by Juju.